So it's been miserable out there lately. It's been raining, it's been cloudy, we haven't got anything done. We are way behind. Let's go look at the weather here quickly. You see, we got perfect days. It's time for us to mow that grass down because we got a lot of drying days ahead of us. The only problem is we also have to get the last field of soybeans in. So we are going to be busy today. Let's get to it. So today, what? Did Buck do this? Buck, come on. Knock down everything. Can't just leave it there in the middle. Oh man, can't even set it correctly. Fix it later. Buck, you're sitting on the rail? You're just sleeping there? Couldn't you find a better place to sleep? That's weird. Buck, seriously. I mean, how many of these are you gonna knock over? Good enough. All right, so we need to get in here. Open the garage door up. So I think I'm gonna go look at the cattle quickly, make sure they're fed. I'm sure they need some feed, so that'll be our first order of business. Take our bobcat over. Oh, went a little close there. So we are make sure that they are at least got topped off of feed. Move out of the way. Move out of the way. Alright. Uh-oh. Looks like they can use a little feed. So we'll go get our feed wagon and feed both groups. Whoa. Oh, I'm, I'm driving here. Come on. Come on, guys. Shut the gate. Just to make sure no stragglers get out by the time we get over there. So also we need to get that disking ready because we need to start planting that field over there. So after we get this feeding done, that's be the first order of business. Alright, start our truck up here. We have no time to waste. We need to just get right at it. So I'll just go ahead and feed these up. Didn't make that turn. Feed these right away. There we go. Wow, they didn't really take that much feed, to be honest. You don't... See, our corn is already up. Our other field of soybeans is already up. And we still need to plant our last field. But good thing is you can plant soybeans sort of late still get some type of crop out of them might be hurting a little bit but i think we could feed these cattle and uh get back before they run out of the gate let's see we might regret this do you mind i'm trying to give you more feed All right. Wow, really thought I could top off more in there. Apparently not. I, I fed you already, it's over there in the feed trough. Yep. Okay. Uh, so we will try to get our way through all these cattle. Crazy. Got too many head. I'm gonna have to expand my uh, lot there. Shut the gate. And go park this again. We're really fortunate we have this big feed wagon here. Might have to end up mixing some feed there later on. Right now we do not have time for that. All right, shut that off. So now I need to get the case here on our new disc that's parked over there. But I need to take these saddle tanks off. Oh man, it looks like I probably need to wash it off too. Uh, 
we're going to be using it for tillage. I mean, why wash it off? Alright, start this girl up. Really glad we ended up fixing the, the muffler. We did have a bad muffler leak on this uh, case tractor and it was really loud. So now it's somewhat bearable. It's still a little loud in the cab, but it's at least bearable now. All right, so we'll get unhook them. So quick disconnect, kind of, sort of, not really, but we need to get over there and now hook up to our, uh, we need to get over there and hook up to our, uh, new disc. I think it'll match nicely on this, uh, case tractor. The uh, old case disc. Only thing is, a little bit concerned if we can get it through them gates back there to our other field. So that might be an issue. Hopefully not. You never know. Back up here. Not even close. Alright, so we will start headed out here. We'll head over here. So these are the areas I'm a little bit concerned with. Ooh, are we going to make it by that? Oh yeah, don't want to clip our old international. Actually, I think we might make it through here. I don't think we're going to have too much of an issue on that gate. Alright, uh oh. Well, I guess that's a double wide gate. At least we don't have to take a right right there. That's only a single, so I think we're good. I think we're good. This grass looks like it needs mowed. We need to get to it. But I really want to get this disc first, so we're just taking it nice and slow. This is a pretty bouncy field right here. That's why I was going so slow. Didn't have my hydraulics hooked up. I know. You're probably like, you're a dumbo. Yep. So you do see something planted over here, so we purchase this field. Whoa, that's a big ditch. All right, we got through it. We purchased this field with some uh, potatoes on it, and we don't have means to, we don't have means to harvest potatoes, so that is why we are gonna diss this up. So, sorry if you like potatoes. We're not growing them on this farm. I have, uh, and I, plan to put uh, soybeans back here. Oh, I didn't even know I'd have a little path back there. Hmm. Didn't even know that was there. We're going to be going around. This is kind of a nice little disc here. Hopefully this doesn't take us too long. Our cousin did say that she's going to come over and uh, take over here so I of course I always do the headlands for her this is the best part of this field here this nice creek going through here ah, just so peaceful this is a perfect field to have to tillage in such a scenic view around this area And this disc sure pulls hard. But this is only, uh, this is the smallest, I think, uh... Yep, this is the 7210, so this is the smallest uh, version of this size. So this was their biggest non-articulating tractor back in the day for case. Uh, at least series, not actual uh, horsepower almost back around on our second headland or outside pass it's kind of bumpy because we got to deal with these uh, ditches that they put the potatoes in not the best conditions 
Oh, oh, there's my cousin. Holy cow, is she going fast. Man, is she crazy. Oh, slow down for that ditch. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Man, good thing she has a high boy truck there. All right, so I'll get her started over here. All right, so she's taking off. I'm so proud of her. She figured out that ag leader in there, so she wanted to use it. She's so happy she gets to drive a tractor that has a good radio in it. It's the little things that matter. Holy cow. She doesn't even slow down. She's getting good. All right, I better keep up with her. She's going to take over this farm pretty soon. All right, so I think I'm just going to run back so she could have her truck down here. Because I know how she likes her Starbucks. She might have to go on a run. Don't want to take her truck from her. And you've seen how she drives and what she carries in there. Squeeze through this barbed wire fence. All right. I'm going to have to walk through the woods here. Save some time so I don't get out of breath. So the plan is right now I'm going to go tr uh, trade off this uh, the swather I have. So I do not like these type swathers. They just, these hay binds, they take forever. I am going to go and get me a disc bind. So the plan... I'm going to have to see if I can start this old girl up. Oh man, I'm going to have to move the, the baler too. Where did I leave the 4440? Hmm. Oh, I know where I left it. Alright, so we're going to go... So the new plan B is... I need to take the duels off this 4440. Because I plan on using it. So we just as well use this to move our uh, baler and everything. So let's go take the duels off first. Had to look back there to make sure I disconnected that. Wasn't positive. All right, so really enjoying this 4440, that's for sure. We're gonna take this over, take the duels off so we can use it on the, the mower. We just gotta take it into our garage here. There we go. Hopefully we got enough room with our uh, planter. Shut these off. All right, so we got the duels off. Put them off over to the side over here. We also put on our loader brackets on here. So they are set up. It's kind of different because how this one goes through the front weights. A little bit different, but kind of cool. So we'll jump onto here and move our new Vermeer. All right, so we're gonna pull this out. Oh, I said I'm gonna put that into my shop. All right, so we'll just back this up here. And we'll probably just leave this hooked up for now. Because I'm gonna pull that uh, hay bind. Huh? can't see anything backing up with this thing. Hopefully I don't hit my planter. Line backing up. So I'm gonna hook up that hay bind to my new truck to take it to the dealer. Alright. That is done. Being productive this morning, that's for sure. So hopefully now this new Holland start. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, there we go. That was a hard start. Don't want to start this in the cold, that's for sure. Alright. We will just leave this to the side. Oh, It's a bad shutoff, too. Now I need to go get my truck here. It just smells new still. Love it. Back this old girl up. Watch out for Buck there, even though she he does nothing but tip over our plants. 
Alright. So we will hopefully back this up. Oh, I can't see anything right there. Looks like we're good, according to our mirrors. Last famous thing. Oh, man. I guess I can't hook this up. I don't have a hitch. Got a ball hitch. Oh, what to do, what to do. So I think I'm gonna have to go hook up to my trailer and then back it on, put it on there. Shoot. I was hoping just to pull it down the road slow, but that failed. Guess we are already on plan C today. All right, so we got the disc nine on the back there. We're gonna pull it to the dealership. We just had to forklift it on because of how wide it is, so. Fortunately, that took way longer than what it should have, so it should have just been an easy process. Nothing's easy around here. The key is to keep your implement on the whole way to where you're going. I know somebody that just drove around and left a header on the middle of the road once. I don't know who that dumbo was. Alright. So, pull in here. Oh, there we go. Our new one is right over there. Let's see if we can unload this one quickly. So this is a 1431 swather that we bought here. So these disc binds are way faster than them, uh, old sickle drives so let's get this thing loaded onto the trailer so they said we could use their six, 6155 r here so of course i'm gonna use this new tractor start this thing up uh, i think i'll just leave the loader up high for the simple fact that i need to see where i'm going sharply here. Try to hook it up. There. Hooks up nicely. Hopefully it goes on the trailer easier than that uh, sickle bind. Alright. Uh oh. I think we might have to get the forklift out. I don't think I think these swathers are just so wide. Up oh, it's going up there. Uh uh, it is stuck. Alright, finally got that thing up there. Just took us like 10 tries. We are not good at loading equipment. So, we're not going to get a part-time job here, that's for sure. Alright, that's going to be good enough for me. There we go. Wish I had this tractor. This thing is nice. Park this over here without running into the fence so I don't have to pay for it. Pretty nice tractor there. Pretty nice. Alright, so let's get this disc bind home. This thing rides a lot better. Let's see if we can. This thing rides all the way home for us. So if you don't know, I uh, planted uh, Farmer Jim's corn over there. So I've also planted some uh, fields of soybeans for him. But the corn I made a video on, so go check that out if you want to. So helping Jim out. So he needs help. He kind of really wanted us to help more today, but I'm just too behind on my farm here. I just don't have time to help them out right now. Should have time in the future. So I need to get some, swath some hay down, get my soybeans planted. I just got too much on my hands right now. So it's going to be a little bit sketchy getting this uh, swather off this trailer. Hopefully we can do it. 
Alright, so we finally got that disc bind off the tractor. Man, that was almost a nightmare. So let's get this thing started cutting some grass. So we're going to start in the back field here. Uh, i got to wind myself around over here. You guys doing good over here? Hopefully. Don't be looking at this grass. I'm going to be cutting it. Don't worry about that. Alright. So I think we should look at the weather port one more time on my phone. Just to make sure. Alright. You're good. Y'all saw that. Here we go. We're going to start cutting. First cutting of 2019. Looks like my uh, cousin's doing fairly good, I think. She looks like she's just about done. This is why I like a disc bind. See, I'm going 13 mile an hour. Basically about as fast as I could take it in the seat I can drive. Don't have to worry about the sickle. Them, they basically go half the speed. Really not getting a great crop off this, but hopefully we'll have to rake it so it dries quicker. Would like if we can get both of these fields mowed, then we just have our one big field of grass. I think I'm going to cut everything down. Mowing around here, they kind of bumpy, but hopefully I don't clog the mower up. Get as much of this outside as I possibly can. A little choppy around here, so it's not the easiest. Alright, so I think I'm gonna flip one, start mowing the inside. There we go. Huh. I wonder if my cousin's having issues. We better go see if she's alright over here. Oh, then she takes off. Well, okay. We'll just go back then. Whatever. Keep mowing around here, being she figured it out. Alright, so... Won't take too long. We really need to figure out a way, so we're still going to have to plant the soybeans into that field. Might ask if Farmer Jim will plant that for us. Maybe we'll have him custom plant it. Pay him back with uh, hard labor. So, going around here. Oh, looks like a uh, cousin made it back over to the side there. Oh, yep. There she goes. She's leaving now. Glad she's going at a slower pace than what she was when she was coming in here. Yeah, I spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Well her life. Going around over here. Move out of the way, birdies. Don't want you getting chopped up. You're not good for the cow feed.
So I just have a little sliver left here. So we're making a really good time. We've only been cutting for about 15 minutes at that. So it doesn't take too long going around at 13 mile an hour even though we only have a 10 foot swap here. So we don't even slow down to turn around on a UE. Oops, got off there. Not getting a lot of volume out of this, so this hay was ready to cut because it's seeding off, if you can tell over there. So, hopefully, being this is the first cutting, the second cutting will come back a lot stronger. So, some farmers uh, just mow theirs down and don't even try to keep it, especially like the horse farmers. That first cutting, all the stemmy uh, plants out of there so they can get some good plants for uh, horse feed. Uh, I just got one little sliver left. Almost had it. Then I'm going to try to sneak through the trees over here. Go right into our next view. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I can sneak over there. Don't think I can sneak by them trees. I'm gonna have to go all the way to the end over here and start. We'll do the outside pass first this time. Get up on that ridge there. there we go. Got a little. Get a little bit closer there. Come on. Let's get all the all the grass there. All the way to the edge of the little nice pond. Really struggling going up this hill. It's kind of surprising. Didn't expect this tractor to struggle with this little mower. It's only a 10 foot. There we go. Looks like we got some bushes just randomly in the middle of us. The field here. We'll just uh, see if the mower trimmed them up. And it didn't. Bummer. So we're still doing the outside pass here. So we got a fairly big field over here to do uh, hopefully this pays for swapping this because uh, uh, we're not getting the best volume out of this I was hoping to get some more but we'll see how much it is once we break it together uh oh birdies get out of the way fly away birdies I'm going pretty fast you gotta fly quick so I haven't even plug this thing up once yet so usually I, I hit a few gopher holes that plug it up with dirt have to clean that out but everything's going really easy today idea what happened but whatever I did just started drying the hay really quickly so this hay right here is really dry coming out of this swather almost like we could bale it right afterwards kind of odd don't know exactly what happened there but we are continuously going around so see about right there just stop don't know what happened but basically that hay over there still needs to dry and this is one stage dryer I guess it still needs to dry another stage I think we will see about that just got this one little piece right here there we go last little pass done hold this thing up Pick it up. And I think I'm gonna just head over here. See what the wifey's doing. But thank you all for watching. And I will see you later. Here in Oregon. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. 
See you next time.